Hi everyone, this is Sheena from For the Love of Paper, and I'm going to be doing a the weekly um, Margaret Miller collage challenge for week number 25. Uh, this probably will be a pretty short video because um, I don't want to add too much time after completing this because I'm on call and I don't really have any control of my work phone ringing and having to attend to that since I can't pause this. So I'm just gonna try and do the collage for tonight and um, that will be pretty much the whole of this video. So I guess to show you, the prompts are a piece of furniture, so I have a sticker that's a chair, a doodle, so I have these pieces that I pulled out from, um, the Golden Oldie Collector Book by, uh, Art by Marlene. I've showed that in one of my videos before. So I pulled out a couple of those doodles and something that makes a sound and a pattern. I picked an owl because of their signature noise, their hooing. Um, an eating utensil, a list. I have this, um, tax invoice list that's from AliExpress. Doesn't really make much sense, but it's a list. And then this illustration that I pulled from a book. So this is going to be my background. But yeah, this is going to be a pretty quick one because unfortunately I don't have control over that and I don't have the ability to pause. So um, I anticipate uh, interruptions for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down as the background. Um, I haven't really thought this through. I did pull the pieces on my lunch break, but then I also had to come off my lunch break early for a meeting that I didn't expect. So yeah, it's just been a crazy day, crazy work day. And now one call for the night. So we'll throw this together. Um, that's gonna be our illustration. just rip it off but it's fine um maybe i will make this like a little tuck pocket to put this under but i do want to clean up the edges a little bit um just so uh, straight would be great okay so have that on there with this behind or this over it, so it kind of tucks in there. And then we have the doodles, just to put in some random places. Maybe I want this down here, this up here. And maybe this over here somewhere, okay. And then, I guess I can go ahead and glue that down. I'm just gonna use art glitter glue. It's a pretty thin piece of paper, but I just want a small line. I have some, I don't know if I'll be able to record it later this evening. Like I said, I don't wanna get interrupted um, in the midst of a video, but I have made some packets for my shop. There is like, um, well, bundles, I guess you could call them, like a, uh, book page bundle, uh, blank, um, or blank base ephemera bundle, and, um, a miscellaneous cards bundle, um, with a lot in each of them. So I, uh, want to be able to do a video of those, but that's not going to get done tonight now and I had to wait for some of the pieces to come yesterday to finish out the packets but stay tuned for that the book page bundles are oh that's very crooked um a very big variety of old and new well mostly old but um, definitely uh, 
some great pieces if you're just starting or you want a variety without having to purchase all the different books. And if you've watched my uh, craft room tours in the past, I have an extensive amount of books that I've purchased and only have acquired more since then. So this is going to be the writing utensil that I use. And I am just gonna put that, I think, here. And then, is there another one in here? No, that's the only one in this book. Um, then in here, is there not anything in here that I picked? Doesn't look like it. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, there's two in here. Um, what did I pick? Oh, this chair here. This chair. I think I'll put it right here. It's definitely going to blend in. The chair. And then I have an owl here. The background's really busy, so these are really... Well, I don't want to put it up there with that bird. Maybe I'll put it on here. Just to break up that a little bit. That can't be it already. A piece of furniture. The doodles. Something that makes a sound and a pattern. An eating utensil. The list. And the illustration. I guess that is it. Okay. Maybe I can force a couple more minutes into this because it was only seven minutes. This one was uh, pretty uh, basic, but I think I like the, the background and that design. And how about I put some washi up here at the top? Just trying to reach for it without bumping the camera. Just to break up some of the plain parts. Trying to think if I have anything right around here that I've been working on that I can show you just to take up a little bit more time. Um, let's see if I can get this together. Mm, I want to put this down there. It still can move. And I'll put one up here, I think, and that will be good. Um, yeah, I'm still looking around me what I have here that I could possibly show or do something. Okay. Well, then that is week 25. It's so crazy to think we are almost halfway through the year. And today is the first day of summer. And I'm just getting closer to 37. <laughs> All right, putting those back. Um, just looking, like I said, to see around me what I have that I could um, work on or do really quick. still have the three or the two more Reader's Digest to go up. They are um, the blue and the orange. The green is already in the shop. And you know what, guys? I'm really not seeing anything. You know, well, how about I do this? It's not a collage day. And I might really test the waters here. But what if I pick one of these? really quick to make one of these, one of these Pantone cards. No, I messed that up. This one doesn't even have an actual color listed to it. So I'm going to quick like grab some pieces for this before that phone starts ringing. Let me zoom you in a little. All right, so... 
And maybe what I'll do is, because it's such a bright color, I'll use from this. This is what I was saying that I pulled those doodle pieces from. I actually have a full, um, like, book that I use or journal that I use for this. But I saw one earlier today when I was pulling out those doodles. This one here. You can't see it. It's not in camera. But that... Let's see what else. Nope, I don't want that. That's something different. Um, I'm trying to get this a little bit more on camera for you. Every two pages are the same. Maybe one of these connected to that, that, let's see what else. Looking for like a word or something. This is so much on the fly. Pop this out. Be honest, be so brave. That will probably fit on there somewhere. Okay, let's see what else. I want something like in that atmosphere of the page. a little corner piece would be good I wonder what this would look like behind there if it's too matchy yeah it's too matchy I need something more like a yellow or something a little bit brighter back there how about this sun right here So we'll put those pieces together really quick. Because um, I haven't done, oh, I just banged the desk. Um, I haven't done one of these in a while. So that just adds a little bit more to the video. I, I'm afraid if I get, I don't want to show one of the packets that I worked on without showing all of them to you. And I don't want to get started in them and then cut off. So I'll just do one of these quick and consider it a little bonus for the day. Just clean some of that off. this one under I don't know that it's really going to be under but just in case it really is well that's upside down well it's really actually backwards the way it's printed so it doesn't really matter and then put her there yep put her right there 
is quirky looking. And then you can put this little bird here on top of this piece. And then that right there. I do feel like I want to, just give me one second. Where's my blanket tool? Okay, it's a little pink. I don't know sure really what color this is on here. It's probably not gonna actually do anything. Oh yeah, it is. I just wanna knock a little of the dark white away. some pink on there a little bit. All right, there we go. So we did the challenge. Where's the pin? Where'd the pin go? Oh, here it is. Did the Marguerite Mellow 25 challenge, which again, just to show again is this and then a quick colored Pantone card with some art by Marlene quirkiness so I hope you enjoyed this have a great evening and I will be back again soon hopefully with those bundle videos have a great night bye